One thing is for you to know your return of God. Another thing is so for you to understand that you are running your race in the standpoint of victory. What has happened over 2,000 years ago is for you to enter into the rooms. Are you understanding me? When you enter a vehicle, the vehicle will carry you. If as much as it's a vehicle that carry people, you become someone that that vehicle can help when you enter the vehicle. So what we are doing, we are standing in the standpoint of victory that has happened. And any time we enter into that faith, we begin to move. Yes, sir. You don't understand me. Yes, sir. Some will say, I'm not looking for victory. I'm not looking for victory. I'm already victorious. I'm already victorious. That is the reason why every revelation needs to add something in your life or remove something from your life. Yes, sir. Every revelation needs to do something to Every revelation. Yes, sir. He said that they had victory by the word of their testimony. I hear you, sir. And you begin to know that it was the testimony. And testimony they were doing was not a complaining, it was a congratulation. Yes, yes, sir. So they had victory by saying good, not bad. They had victory by saying good, not bad. They had victory by thinking good, not bad. So it doesn't work, matter what God is doing. What matters is what Jesus has done. Of rims of earth. I don't have protection. They talk 
one is in the grave. And the one that is so difficult to come at is the one in the grave. Because why do devil bury it so that it will finish? Yes, sir. Are you having an hour? Yes, sir. So anything that left you is still around. Yes, sir. Is still what? Around. It can return. Yes, sir. Oh, this morning, I don't know how I'm feeling. Because when I was studying, I could not even pray. I was sitting on the chair, I was vibrating in anger against the devil. Somebody say, preach to me. Preach to me. In a short time from now, we are going to read this scripture and to understand why my God is angry. Why am I angry? It was like in the book of John chapter 11. The Bible says that Jesus Christ got a message of the friend that was about to die. His name is God Lazarus. When they told you that Lazarus was about to die, Jesus was aware that Lazarus was carrying glory. That is not Lazarus that matter. It was not Lazarus carrying that they want to bury. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When Jesus came to the grave, the Bible recorded that Jesus wept. Jesus did not cry that Lazarus died. Jesus cried because the devil knows how to bury the best. Yes, sir. Jesus was crying. He said, Ah, Lazarus is the best of generation. And that was why he was angry. And addressed the tomb on your committee. Anyone that is spiritual that understood clearly how Jesus acted in the grave, we know that Jesus was very angry. Yes, sir. Jesus was very angry. Devil, you have buried many destinies, you have buried many glory. But this one is my friend, you can pray. Yes, sir. Well, for this one's communication to the sisters, he said, You this one will not die, but it shall be something to give God glory. Yes, sir. Because if ever succeed in burying my friend, I have the power to bury him. Yes, sir. I don't know what has left you. There is a restoration. Amen. Amen. I said there is a restoration. Amen. Amen. Jesus cried at the tomb. People was busy crying that somebody died. But Jesus was crying because a destiny had been buried. Yes, sir. Can I talk to you, sir? Yes, sir. When you see devil trying to set us in and trying to keep people, devil have nothing to do with your body. Devil have nothing to do with you. What is interested is the destiny you carry that's supposed to amount the glory of God on earth. Yes, sir. I hear you, sir. So when devil begin to bewitch you, begin to fight you, he want to distract you out of your destiny. Yes, sir. He want to swallow destiny. Another revelation is that when destiny of man is buried, the man name is swallowed. Yes, sir. There are people, their problem, their situation has swallowed their name. Yes, sir. Can I talk to you, sir? Yes, sir. Let me talk to you, sir. If you go to the book of Mark chapter 10, verse 46, now you understand there was a man called Brian Bartelius. Is there anybody hearing my voice, sir? Yes, sir. Say that. 
that 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 job is still low. I can not sit down. I can't allow this thing to continue. Everybody can accept it, but I can't accept it. I can't stop going back to the shame. I am. Before you complain, the more devil is celebrated. So this morning you must tell them enough is enough. Yes. I can swallow everybody's story. Glory, but not my own. Not the one of my family. Yes. They were succeeded in swallowing their glory to the point they were inconsequential and animals. They were insisting that they were not existent. I don't need to understand them. Yes. And now I quickly address that matter in your family. I don't know what they have done, they say you are God. I don't know what they have swallowed completely that you are living life of mockery. But today the Lord will open that grave. Amen. Graveyard is a place where things that are finished go to stay. Somebody say I'm alive. Somebody say I'm alive. I'm alive. I cannot be buried. Nobody can change it as I do. Nobody can stop the devil as I do. So if you know the battle one million times, still the battle. You are not there in battle to find battle. You are there in battle to have victory. You do have victory. You are in battle for victory, not for battle. So you don't fight battle and recover when you have come in victory. Glory. 
We shall declare that honorable be brought to this man. Amen. Listen to me, Father. Yes, Are you understanding me? Yes, sir. There are people shame and swallow their name. People no longer respect them because they are real. Place your hand on your head. I don't know the man of you. I don't know how they have succeeded in making you dwarf in the realm of the spirit. I don't know what is insisting as far as your name is mentioned. I don't know what shows up when you show up. I don't know the name of humiliation and mockery you are asking. Let your hand down right now. Come to me. I'm not going to be a man. I'm not going to be a man. I'm not going to be Let your two hands down right now. Lord, I cannot be buried like this. Raise your two hands down right now. Because there are some of you under the sound of my voice. You are the next target to kill. Let me grieve. And I'm changing it now. Let my glory, let my glory, the glory of my family. 